Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for the best and the worst of Journal Hospital for 2022. And yes, I know 2022 was over 12 days ago, but you know, better late than never, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, if you watched my best and worst of 2021, then you know that I discussed, I did two different videos, you know, I did one for the best storylines, one for the worst storylines, but this year I decided to go a route where I would talk about, um, you know, different categories, you know, who's the best in this category, who's the worst in this category, not just involving storylines, um, um, yeah, I saw some other um, sites and stuff were doing that, and I said, do my own. And I came up with some other categories that um, I didn't see anybody else doing. <laughs> uh, and just a heads up, I have a puppy. His name is Rocky, and he doesn't know how to sit still or not make noise. <laughs> Today was my first full day with him. And so if you hear noises or me saying stop, it is to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, he really likes my um laptop cord because it has the little Velcro thingy so you can like wrap it up and stuff. So I've been telling him like all day to not touch it. Uh maybe one day he'll understand. <laughs> but anyways, that's enough talk. Let's go into the categories. And I'll start off with the best character of 2022. I have to give it to my girl. Anna Devane, definitely. She was so much better to share, written so much better to share. It's you no know, never a knock at uh, Fiona's door. It was all the writers. It started, you know, I always loved um Anna, even back before I watched her hospital. I saw her on All My Children. And um always always loved her and Fiona. Um but it was just the writing just really sucked ass for her by making Peter her long lost son with her nemesis Faison. Is that what his name? Faison? I don't know. <laughs> but that just sounded so horrible. Why would she hook up with them? And then she was like excusing Peter's behavior and stuff. It's like, this is not the end of the vein we know. But, um, they, um, well, she started wising up, um, in 2011, um, 2011, 2021, <laughs> and then, um, so we started seeing the real Anna, and then, um, finally, and, um, what was it, Peter died in February, um, so her just sitting there watching him die, just, like, cemented that, we for sure got the real Anna Devane back, and she's been rocking it all year, um, trying to figure out what Valentine's up to, hitting the sheets with Valentine, and now they're working together. Perfect, perfect kind of storylines. The only sad thing, the only thing I don't like is that we haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> yeah, that's um probably most in part because um James Stewart, Pat Patrick Stewart. Fuck that up. James Patrick Stewart, who plays Valentine, is also filming another show um, with Disney Channel, so that's probably why they're not on that much, but I'm okay, because, you know, he's not going to be taping that show forever, so I will wait patiently, but I definitely, ha we've had a lot of Vanna stuff, Vanna scenes, sex scenes, just regular scenes to where I think we'll be, well, I, I think I can, um, I'll be okay. And Rocky, no, don't eat mommy's cord. <sighs> he's got all these toys, and he still wants to chew on cords. <sighs> Anyways, and on to the worst character, which was hella, hella hard. <laughs> was kind of hella hard to um talk about, <laughs> to make a decision, because it was like... So many horrible characters on General Hospital. You might hear me say that a lot about some of these categories. But I guess I have to give it to um Truck Nuts, a.k.a. Cody Bell. Because he's just, like, the most useless of all of the... Oh, well, I just gave away one of my categories. Yes, I also nominated him for the most useless character. Because he's just not... He's just not, 
needed. <laughs> like seriously, nobody asked for this. And um, why well, might as well just throw in worse new addition also is Truck Nuts, um, played by um Josh Kelly. Um, there's really no need for the character or for Josh. Um, he really set um really made people not like him before he even aired. Well, one, because, you know, General Hospital is such a blurred cast, so hearing that um, they've hired somebody new um, is definitely going to set fans off automatically. And then it's going to be uh, not only hiring a new actor, leave that alone! <laughs> not only is it a new act, uh, not only a new actor coming to the show, but he's also not playing anybody tied to the show. He's just playing some random new person. And then he does an interview. I can't remember the soap mag. He did an interview talking about he emailed, um, no, he texted um, Frank Valentini, who is the executive producer of General Hospital, asking him for a job, and it happened. So they basically... Everything about this character was just created via, just for a simple text message, which, of course, that just set off fans even more, and they were already shitting on the character before he even aired, and, what are you doing? Come here. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh, Lord, it is puppy. I love him, but, whew. <laughs> Definitely gave me a workout today. Uh, he's playing with the box now, so hopefully he'll keep doing that. But, um, yeah, and so they just making up history, trying to tie him to, you know, people on a canvas to make him relevant, and it's not working. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sure he's got some fans out somewhere, but, um, majority of the fans that I've interacted with, um, do not like him. <laughs> and it's so horrible. They're trying to... I think that he really is truly um, Max's long-lost son, which is so horrible. Like, I, I would be happy if Max had a biological child, but um, Chuck Nats is not it. That's just pretty evil. The poor man just finally getting airtime and <laughs> you give him a shitty-ass son like him. But I do, um, they have made him look a little more presentable lately. Not just some dude that looks like, um, he has a shower because he hangs out with horses all day. But, I don't know. But, yeah, he gets worse character, worse new addition, and, um, uh, most useless character. So, <laughs> on to the best new addition. I have to give it to Tabiana Ali as Trina Robinson. Uh, she had big shoes to fill with um Sydney Mc Michaela who <laughs> like right before the shit hit the fan about Esme um setting up Trina for the revenge porn. So Tabiana she comes in like like I don't think it's the same episode, but it was like the next episode or two after that. Um, that's when Trina got arrested, so she was just like, um, "Hey, welcome to the show! Bam, here's all everything happening right now." What are you doing now? Hold on a second. Sorry, he was growling. Us. He's not even doing nothing. Anyways, yes, go back into your bed and go to sleep. Perfect. The faster you stop messing with stuff, the faster I can finish this video. Okay, anyways. Yeah, so she stepped in a role and she made it her very own. And I swear, she's made um, Trina and um, Sprina, uh, Spencer and Trina, I swear she's made it even more popular and made all us fans want them together even more. And she just... This is like one of the best recasts I've seen in a long time. General Hospital did a really great job. Um, uh, Mark um Cheshner, um, I believe he's still the head, um the um casting director. Um, I probably fucked up his last name. <laughs> but definitely, um, 
you know, not only one of the um, best musicians, but one of the best recasts, definitely. And, um, uh, and you know, I totally forgot that she's actually the um, third Trina. I forgot there was another Trina. Someone reminded me about that. I was like, uh, there was a, a one before Sydney. Um, I meant to look it up to see who it was, but, um, yeah, she was, um, they had it like she was like the problem, the, the party animal, the troublemaker. And, um, then they changed it when Sydney took over, I guess. <laughs> but, um, that's funny. Not now. I, I'm add that to list to check out. Um, I like having my hair down, but somehow it gets in my mouth. So annoying. Um, okay, he's just eating. <laughs> Anyways, um, next up, funniest character. And next year, I need to write down, keep a list of some good quotes by that <laughs> the funniest character because i was just thinking of that when i was doing my days of our lives one um um i chose um a oh, spoiler alert <laughs> well I, I won't say it if you watch days of our lives you have to watch um my um my days of our lives best and worst but you probably figure out who um <laughs> who was the winner but anyways back to this um i chose scotty baldwin <laughs> as the funniest character for 2022 he's just <laughs> every time he's on even when he's serious he still finds a way to joke about stuff and uh, yeah i'll make a note um make sure to add some good quotes <laughs> to that but yeah i mean never a dull moment when scotty's on um he's one of my favorite characters for sure i know some people think he's an ass but um those are the coolest characters. The asshole. He's a good asshole. <laughs> okay, we went over <laughs> most useless character. Oh yeah, I, I should have put funniest character. Um, couple him and Lisa, which we need to see more of. Not only that, we need to see more of him with her now that um Britt passed away. But I haven't watched um Wednesday or Thursday's episode. I'm taping this. Thursday night, I, I haven't, I didn't get to see Wednesday's episode, so we'll see how that goes. And next up, best short-term character, worst short-term character. Um, I guess you would say, I guess it's more like a guest star role, kind of like you're just around for a little while and then we don't really see you no more <laughs> or well the worst ended up having you know kind of like an exit but the other one just sort of disappeared <laughs> the best i have to go with uh was it smortsy smortsy i fucked that up the, the annoying ass reporter that was stalking um sasha <laughs> Uh, I found out his first name was Grant. <laughs> it was like, wait, that's his name? So I was like, wait, hold on. Is that the actor's name? I was like, no, it's smart to see. That's the, um, the Rocky, do that alone, though. No. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. He just wants to tear into everything. Uh, anyways, you know, puppies do what puppies do. <laughs> but I know he's just like an asshole following around um Sasha, you know, catching her bad um worst moments, you know, the um getting the drugs and then, you know, her running over harmony. <laughs> that's so funny that But she wasn't even on drugs when she hit harmony, so that's what the fuck that was part. But I guess he decided to cut town or to leave people alone after Sasha attacked this truck, which he so deserved that. Yes, he really did. <laughs> but the worst short-term character, I had to go with Holly Sutton. I've never liked the character, and I've never seen the purpose of her. I guess she was the thing back in the what 80s or whenever she was supposedly relevant but we really didn't need the character she didn't really do anything to the show in my opinion she just made things worse i mean i guess setting up helping setting up anna helped so that anna and valentine could be on the run but i guess but 
really <laughs> we could have done without Anna. Um, Anna. Not Anna. We can never do without Anna. We could have did without Holly. Um, Victor could have just did something else or whatever to set up. Um, you know, but it was really stupid. Her whole storyline was stupid. When I mean, she comes back and was portraying her good friends just, you know, to protect her stupid ass son that is not relevant and should have never existed in the first fucking place. <laughs> Which is stupid when she could have just easily have told Robert and Matt, Felicia, Anna about what was really going on and they could have um, helped her and her stupid ass son and probably ended um, Victor's reign of terror that's been going on since he was going on two years now. So. Uh, it was so stupid, and then the way it ended, <laughs> more on that later, but <laughs> yeah, a character I would not want to ever see again, if only please, the show is riddled with horrible characters, I don't need you to add more to that, but anyways, I said the be best, the best, <laughs> the best use of a good character, I had to give it to Laura Collins, because she's always at the right place at the right time. <laughs> Lordy, poor thing. She's a mayor, and then she has to play referee and counselor <laughs> to her family and friends. <laughs> poor thing. Does she even get time with Kevin? <laughs> Lordy, she had to do... Um, witness protection and how to use a plunger <laughs> but you know what i think that happened at the end of 2021 i don't think that was last year i don't know you know i can't tell my time <laughs> but um <laughs> but yeah especially dealing with our damn the cassadines side of her family <laughs> Lordy, Nicholas and all this esme drama and him and ava breaking up victor doing whatever he's doing. It's like... <laughs> but, you know, she's one of those characters that, you know, she's a legacy character, one of um, one of the most popular, if not the popular, um, character. And Jeannie does an awesome job playing her. Um, so it was good that the writers are finally using her and as well as a lot of the other vets, you know, we get more Anna, Mac, Felicia, Robert, you know, and which is very surprising seeing the show seems to like to kill off their legacy <laughs> characters, but having Laura around definitely. Oh, not, not to mention she's been with um Liz and her drama for the year and um <laughs> and her grandsons, which always did to see her interact with them, definitely. But, um, waste of a good character, it's a three-way tie. I say the Davis girls. Alexis, oh, four, my way. Four-way. <laughs> I forgot to include Sam, but, I mean, we do get to see Sam, but, you know, Sam could still be doing better things, but Molly and Christina, we don't really see them at all. <laughs> And Alexis, no, no, she's not an alcoholic anymore. She's running a stupid paper. Like, who reads papers anymore? But, you know, they could be doing so much more. And they have her, like, um, I guess there's her and Gregory supposedly flirting or something. But Gregory is the most absolute boring fucker. Come on. She used to date, she was used to being date, married to Julian Jerome. <laughs> she used to fuck around with Jerry Jacks and she was married to Rick Lansing. Justin, <laughs> those are the main ones that I enjoyed her with. But of course, Julian, my all time favorite. Even though I love me some Jerry, my Jerry boo boo. But um, yeah, but you know, Jill is for life. But anyways, um, <laughs> but um, and Gregory just. No, he's nowhere in the league of her. The only other 
character I thought that could really work. Well, two other characters I thought could have worked with um, Alexis, and that was Sean. And then um, she befriended Harmony, and I thought that would have been pretty hot. <laughs> Alexis dating a woman. That could have been interesting, but now they killed off Harmony. What a waste. Uh, anyways, <laughs> Sam, she's a PI, but she, um, they didn't, um, have her really dig into Esme's past, which is stupid, because, um, you know, just a couple of months ago, she found out everything about that necklace that Britt brought her in, like, what, a week, a week or two, um, but um, she can't find anything on Esme's past. The only thing that she could have said was what Spencer told her. Makes no sense. It's just a way to try to make Esme look more diabolical, which is really stupid. But whatever. So it makes her a weak PI. And then, you know, she doesn't really do anything else but talk to other people. And, uh, and then Molly, we really see her. I mean... There was suspicion going on just months ago that TJ was cheating on her with Willow, but she was nowhere to be found. <laughs> like, what sense does that make? It would have, like, <laughs> I, I just don't get it. Oops, I forgot to silence my phone. <laughs> I don't get it. She should have been around, um, you know, at least be suspicious. She, doesn't, she didn't have to be mad at TJ or defend TJ, really, but, you know. Well, I mean, it'd be good, you know, could have caused, you know, a little riff, you know, shake them up a little bit, but no, nothing. Molly, we saw her on Christmas, that's it. Christina, we saw on Christmas, that's it. <laughs> they barely got to say any words, really. And Christina, she should be front and center. <laughs> it'd be cool to see her um, befriend um, Nina. Why not? I mean, Avery and um, Don like her. Why can't Christina like her? <laughs> you know, they could have. Um, I really hate listening to characters discuss their past indiscretions over and over again. But that, I think it would have been interesting if Christina and um, Nina were to talk um, talk like that. You know, even Nina and Alexis, they both done really fucked it in up shit. Why can't Nina be friends with Sonny's other baby mama? <laughs> Why not? So come on, great stuff. Um, you know, and um, what's her face? As much as I don't like Willow, she could use a girlfriend or two since they the poor thing. Every time Sasha's on the screen, they do some fucked it up to her. <laughs> So why couldn't she be um, friends with Molly? You know, after all the suspicion was gone, um, you know, it was made sure that they weren't fucking around. Um, TJ and Willow weren't fucking around. Then they could have, um, by the way, Molly and, uh, that could have led to Molly and Willow being friends. And who knows? It could have made Willow a little more interesting to me anyways. Yeah, because I didn't realize that people don't like Molly. I mean, I can understand, I guess. I mean, she's not on that often to really piss people off. But, I don't know. Then again, I didn't like Lucy for years, and she was rarely on, so I don't know. But do you like Molly? <laughs> Let me know why don't you like Molly. I know I asked that question on Twitter. I can't remember what people said. I know some people just said that she was annoying. I was like, okay. <laughs> I just laughed, but that was funny. But anyways, what is I don't know. I thought her tub tub in here. Oh lordy. Anyways, um, best villain. Um, didn't really have that great of villains this year. But I, I guess I would have given it to um Victor Cassidy since he's literally fucking with pretty much everybody on the show. <laughs> Not just his family, but his extended family and. Ties to his other family. Yeah, other family. His family ties with their other families, you know. You know, he's messing with not just Nicholas, Ava. He's messing with Spencer, not just Spencer, but Laura and 
uh, Lucy, Anna, you know, everybody. And he doesn't really give a fuck about anybody because he had um, his granddaughter locked up in some fancy boarding school so her daddy couldn't get to her just so he can do whatever the fuck he's trying to do, which I don't understand. The storyline's been going on for like two years. And <laughs> what I do love, um, me some Valentin Cassidine. I need to know what's going on. <laughs> but, um, I guess I couldn't, well, Cyrus didn't really do anything this year, but, you know, in one scene, you can just, even behind bars, he's fucking with shit, because he got Anna mad at Valentin, <laughs> and he, um, was trying to put Spencer and Trina together. Speaking of which, those, um, Victor has those, um, what was it, turtle doves? Yeah, he need to give them back so Spencer can, um, give it to Trina on their first date. Because <laughs> that shit is gonna happen. Or I, we're about to rumble. <laughs> oh, lordy. Not only that, but, um, Victor's diabolical plan, wherever the fuck it is, <laughs> has led Anna and Valentine to unite. And be beautiful together. I know. I'm going to put this down. Because I'm like. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to mess with my hands anymore. Um, Worst villain. I have it. Uh, that's really. I could have given it to Esme. Because you know. She hasn't really. <laughs> she really doing anything. But make everybody like not like her. <laughs> but I have to go with the hooker. Because even though she, her plan got derailed by Spencer and, um, was it Oz, um, she still fucked up some shit. I mean, I believe she's, with the revenge porn and stuff, kind of led to Joss and Cam distancing themselves even before the whole, um, Cameron and Spencer plan to, um, take down Esme secret, whatever, but, um, I have to go with the hooker, because how the fuck are you a serial killer, and you only kill three people, I'm just saying, well, well, four now with Brit, but, you know, you didn't actually hook Brit, you just scratched her, <laughs> and I'm not even sure, I don't even think that, um, uh, well, I haven't watched Wednesday, uh, Wednesday or Thursday's episode. All that damn noise. You get a warm day and people riding around with their motorcycles make a lot of damn noise. Anyways, rant over. <laughs> I don't really think it's Heather. Um, I guess she might be a copycat just, you know, to um, help Esme. So, but still, how do, you, how do you only kill three people and if you, um, and you lit the, I was gonna say, you know, you killed the men, but you're able, the women got away from you. <laughs> so for, yeah, so for Bert. Um, but yeah, you let Jocelyn Jax get away from you. Weak ass shit. <laughs> and Anna, well, she got hooked from behind, so she didn't have it. So she didn't have a chance to fight. But um, I'm not sure about Diane. She just ended up on the floor. But the way that they looked, the way it was looking is she got attacked from behind, got hooked from behind, but, mm. but still, they're able to figure out how to, um, venom, get rid of the venom <laughs> for the, um, what was it, snake or whatever. Not only that, but, you know, you're giving away clues of who you are. Not only in the leather, but the earring or whatever it was. The, and everybody's like, oh, the clinging and stuff. It's like, oh, lordy. Not only that, but you take breaks. Because, <laughs> like, the hooker, the, the hooker storyline started off pretty strong, you know. Um, and then it just, like, took, like, two months off before any more hooking took off fairly and stupid and it makes me not really care about the storyline anymore because I was like really invested in it especially if they're going to kill off a bunch of characters but um you're just supposed to be targeting people close to Trina and they've only killed well I guess Trina's trial Trina and Trina's trial so so Ava Diane um 
and that's it. <laughs> oh, and Oz, Oz, those are the only ones that were tied to Trina's trial. Um, well, and Josh is the friend, but you know, you try to kill her twice, and she still gets away. Horrible. It's time to end the storyline if you're not gonna do anything. Do it right. Come on. Kill half the cast. I, I'm sure we wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't really care. Well, it depends on what part of the cast you get rid of. <laughs> like, you try to get rid of Trina, then we're about to rumble. <laughs> but anyways. Oh, oh Lord. Ugh. I don't know what that was. Rocky's back over here. <laughs> Anyways, best writing for a character, I said Anna the Bane. Because she, um, it, well, like I said earlier, you know, she came back awesome this year. Um, didn't give a fuck about Peter to say bye, bitch. <laughs> and, you know, take charge and finding a way. Not backing down and being scared of Victor Cassidyne being the Anna the Bane that we know and love so much definitely so um i mean i could talk all day about how awesome anna the bane is but i'm gonna shut the fuck up and the worst writing for a character which was oof, so 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 fucking difficult oh lordy but i gave it a tie with sasha gilmore and nicholas cassidy <laughs> Oh, Lord, I could have added so many more. I could have added Finn and Elizabeth, too. <laughs> but I went with those two because it doesn't matter what scenes they are. They just get tortured, especially Sasha. I swear these dudes that write GH, I forgot their name. Oh, Lordy. Chris and Dan, I think it's the other one. I swear, I guess Sasha reminds them of somebody they used to try to get in high school or something or broke their heart in high school you know like cheated on both of them or something because <laughs> they just write her so shittily <laughs> okay break up with your boyfriend then get addicted to drugs then you get better then you get pregnant then you lose the baby then you get back on drugs and then you go crazy and then you have to be in a uh, conservatorship and then your um, sponsor or whatever died. Your sponsor slash husband dies. And now you have your step, your um, mother-in-law as your conservator, who is more than likely going to gamble away your money. <laughs> I had a feeling as soon as um, Gladys had that um, talk with Selena, I'm like, yeah, Gladys is about to... Um, gamble away Sasha's money and sure enough like what like a week or two ago um they had that discussion and gave up her um earrings that Sasha gave her for Christmas so yeah the writing's over there and Nicholas he's a fucking Cassidine but he gets outsmarted by a little wench <laughs> I think as a little child compared to a Cassidine. Helena would be so fucking furious if she were still alive <laughs> to see her grandson get played by her Esme. It's just oh Lordy. Nobody believed Esme's ass, but he gets fooled by her. Then he has unprotected sex with her and gets her knocked up. And then it's like Oh, well, maybe he will, um, he's on his lesson, you know, that's good, he locked up Esme, no, he still was, he still able to fuck that up, got Elizabeth involved, which I don't mind, because it made the storyline a little more easy, interesting -er that, um, well, more than likely, because I'm really glad that that got Liz away from Finn for a while, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> But, yeah, and then Esme gets away because you hired stupid staff members. <sighs> and then she gets away from you, and now everybody knows that she's where she is and that she's pregnant. And you didn't bother to tell your wife? You cheat. Third of all, you cheat on Anna Jerome. Anna. I'm so high on Anna the Bane. 
Ava, you cheat on your awesome wife, Ava Jerome. Okay. And you know your son or somebody told him that Esme is the one that set um Ava's car on fire. So if you love Ava so much, then why the fuck would you let that little wench stay in your house and play you? Not only that, but you cheated on you 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 slept with her. You fucked her. You had sex. You made a baby. That's you're just so fucking stupid. <laughs> and now, well, we're going into 2023, so I will I'll stop talking about that. That's why I need to do it at the end of the month so I don't start talking about the the the, the uh, in the end of the year. <laughs> so I'm not talking about newer stuff too. But I feel it's just um you know she got away. It's just gonna blow up and blow up in Nicholas's face. But yeah, for can uh, for Cassidine to um. Be this stupid is just wow. You know, I didn't get to, I wasn't watching when Stefan was around, but I have a feeling he'd be <sighs> looking down on this shit too. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And I know, I know Victor has been saying that shit too. But then again, Victor got played by Peter's weak ass. So I guess he's not that, I'm not all that better either. <laughs> But anyways, best return, I gave it to Valentin Castine when he returned with that mustache. <laughs> and frame um Jennifer Smith when he played like a um what was it, a sailor or officer? He comes and he <laughs> tries to get with her and he frames her by putting the ice princess in her um her um safe in her bungalow or whatever. Speaking of which, did she ever get out of prison for that? <laughs> so I'm like I know Anna knows that Valentine was the one that did it, but um, well I guess the um WSB don't know because he'd be locked up right now. And I was like, they're not gonna lock up my man. <laughs> but seriously, did Jennifer get out or not? Oh, poor thing. I'm like, I, know, I didn't know her character, but, you know, just the few scenes that she had, I thought she was pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be funny if she came to town and <laughs> just like, Dallas and Cassidy, I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Why not? It'd be fun. That's a fun, that's a, that's a storyline I'm really interested in. <laughs> Anyways, Wish Return, I already talked about her. Holly Sutton. Like I said, useless waste of airtime when we could have had other stuff shown, you know, them actually finishing one of the linger one of the five hundred lingering storylines that I'm not even sure still exists anymore. <laughs> like Austin and his um organ organ donor, um, organ harvest or whatever that's supposed to be. Anyways, <laughs> Best rivalry, I gave it to Valentine and Anna versus Victor. But really, it's, you know, Anna, Victor, I mean, Anna, Valentine, um, Laura, Mac, Felicia, and Robert versus Victor, really, if you think about it. <laughs> all, uh, basically, all the vets versus Victor <laughs> because he's, whatever he's doing with the Ice Princess, I still don't know. Well, I, I, I never, I, that, was, that was way before my time. I don't even, was that, I don't even think I was alive back then. When was that? I was born in 87. Was that earlier in mid 80s when they were doing all that stuff? Or was it 70s? I think it was. I don't know. Let me stop guessing. But way before my time, <laughs> way before my time of probably being alive, knowing, okay, Definitely before my time of being alive and before I would have watched Soaps anyway. Okay, that made no fucking sense. Anyways, I don't I didn't watch it and but I've heard of some of the stuff that um happened around it and I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm really that I don't know if it was involving other characters. I don't think I would really care about the ice princess. <laughs> But um, it's a great rivalry, and um, 
even though we should probably be really bored and annoyed with it by now, <laughs> it's just that the, every time, you know, James, Fiona, and Charles, they have these um, scenes, you know, throwing Jeannie and Christina and um, <sighs> Max, what's Max's real name? Yeah, how do I not know Max, Max Daddy's real name? I fire myself. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that came up. Max Scorpio. John John J. York, his sexy ass. Why does that so damn loud? Lordy. And Robert's real name is Tristan Robert. I should have fucking known that. I fire myself for not knowing stuff. <laughs> But anyways, wow, I just, like, totally failed that whole section of story. Anyways, let's just move on to best couples. <laughs> the couple um portion of the best and worst. And for best couple, I know this was um a um big discussion argument on Twitter. <laughs> Because um, one of the, I guess it was one of the soap mags or one of the soap sites had named Spencer and Trina as the best couple of 2022 for GH. And they're not officially a couple. So I know some Valentina Anna fans were just, you know, just discussing. They weren't really, they weren't trying to put down Spencer and Trina, but they were just wondering, you know, like, hey, you know, they're not officially a couple. Why are they... Uh, Sophia. <laughs> it was like, why would they be, you know, because, you know, Valentina and Anna were officially a couple, but they weren't named as that. So it caused some confusion and this big rivalry. And I'm like, come on, because, you know, I ship both of them. So I'm like, come on. We have the we have the two hottest ships on the show. We should not hate each other. So just know that with my decision, I went with the couple that was officially made a couple, not one who I want to be a couple, and maybe be a couple before the end of the year, lucky, so just to put it out there, I'm not playing favorites, I'm just saying, okay, now, well, if you haven't figured it out, <laughs> didn't figure it out, yeah, I picked Van, um, Valentine and Anna, as the best couple because they were officially a couple and Spencer and Trina are not officially a couple and they spent a lot of the year not even around each other, you know, with, you know, Trina's trial going on and then Spencer going to prison, you know, and then, yeah, he was in jail and he got, you know, before and he snuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's why I didn't, I didn't pick Spencer and Trina because they weren't officially a couple and spent most of the year not even around each other's orbits. So that's why I did that. But I did name Spencer and Trina as the couple with the most potential, especially within the last um, few months, you know, with their party together. Well, it's not their party together. It was Trina's party and Spencer just showed up as Cameron's guest. <laughs> but no, Trina invited him, didn't she? I don't remember. But, you know, dad and then, you know, the trial. And even now with them pretending to be a couple so um, they could draw Esme out. You know, you know, you see the chemistry and you see that. You know, they both really care about each other. Well, you know, Spencer loves Trina. I don't know if Trina used the word love, but she really, really cares about him. And, and it sounds like she really wants to be um, with him. But, of course, neither one of them want to come forward with it. That's why I named them the most potential couple, because they they have potential of being a couple. <laughs> the um, the storyline is there. The... Um, Storyline is there. What's the other word I'm looking for? The chemistry is there. You know, everything is set up. And with the um, truth probably coming out really soon, hopefully, 
that, um, you know, well, I don't like that Trina is not Taggart's son because I can't stand Curtis's ass. But <laughs> that truth should be coming out. And I think that would just put Spencer and Trina even closer together. So that's what I have to say about that. No, leave that alone. <laughs> Keeps chewing on the cord. All these toys he's got. Ugh. Anyways. Okay, he's laying out now. <laughs> Worst couple. Whew. This was, yeah, this is one of the categories that was extremely difficult. Because there's like, your hospital is just surrounded with the most shittiest soap couples on all four soaps because they don't understand that you know to have a couple work you should probably see if the actors actually have the chemistry because if they have the chemistry even the shittiest writing can make them look awesome I'm just saying <laughs> but I will go with the couple the shittiest couple that got the most airtime in your face shit and I, oh shit, I just realized I never talked about the worst rivalry. <laughs> well, anyways, I was, um, cause I was like, wait, cause some of the stuff I would have said in the worst rivalry, <laughs> but, um, worst couple, I gave it to Michael and Willow. Cause they're just horrible. They have no chemistry and they just talk, they spend so much of their time talking about how shitty Sunny and Nina are and fighting with them, arguing with them every second of the day. And then if they're not doing that, then they're talking about Wiley and then fucking. <laughs> I, I just like, it's so boring. Like, I just don't, yeah, not even that. And I love me some soap porn, but their love scene didn't even make me, in, I wasn't even interested in it. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Oh no. <laughs> That's not something I want to watch. So, yeah, for a couple that has no chemistry and well, they have fans, but, you know, not everybody has great tastes. <laughs> but I don't see um, why the writer... I, I guess, you know, with them doing the... Um, you know, Nina's Willow's mom, which I knew from way back when um the their scenes their first scenes back when um Michelle Stanford was playing um Lordy I almost said Phyllis <laughs> when Michelle Stanford was playing Nina, I just knew that that was gonna be her daughter, and I don't know if they decided against it and then came back or. You know, Willow and Nell was always supposed to be twins, but I don't know. Either way, shitty ass writing. <laughs> so, you know, having Nina and Carly um, have their kids be together, I guess that would create some good drama, and that's why they keep them together. I don't know, but seriously. It... <sighs> Sorry, I just can't with them. And where is my puppy at? <laughs> Bye. Oh, hold on a second. He is under my desk. <laughs> like, how did I not see him? And now he's gonna move because I moved. Oh, Lordy. I'm sorry, but my um <laughs> worst rivalry, I gave it to. I, I put Carly and her Rugrats versus Sunny and Nina. Now that I think about it, um, Rugrats is very. Um, insulting to Tommy, Tommy, Angelica, and Chucky, Phil and Lil, and Susie. Um, her pests, her, I don't know. Anyways, it's just, ugh. They just kept having the same conversations over and over and over again, which makes no fucking sense. <laughs> it's like they were just recycling, um, like they were trying to stay green by recycling, um, their scripts. 
Lord, and I just really hate listening to people repeat themselves. I'm like, it just turns me off from the scene. Um, and then if I, that turns me off, then I end up maybe missing some other important scenes because I'm like tuned out of the show now because that's all I'm hearing. Not only that, but it's always screeching and yelling and total hypocrisy. Hip- Hypocrisy. I fucked that word up. But, you know, coming from, um, especially Carly and now Jocelyn, too. It's like, you know, you guys are not perfect. And, yeah, um, everybody does fucked up shit. And you need to get the fuck over it. I mean, it's over. There's nothing else you can do about it. You claim that you're over it, then why don't you move on from it? I mean, Carly's done a little better job with, you know, not getting in Nina and Sunny's face. But um, Jocelyn, especially, you know, always in Nina's face. Um, Willow, Michael, always in Nina and Sunny's faces, which is just so stupid. Um... I know they wanted to do something cool with Michael hating Sonny or whatever. I'm trying to redo what Ron did, um, if you didn't know, back um, when he was the head writer, it's when Sonny killed um, AJ's, um, Michael's biological father. You know, the way that Ron wrote that was beautiful. It was, I think it was magically done. Um, and I think that Chad killed it. And it sounds like they're, they're trying to do, um, trying to recreate that, and they magically failed <laughs> at it. And Josh being mad at Sunny is just really stupid. But, well, no. I always said that it was stupid for her to like him in the first place, considering um, Sunny's past with Jax, her dad. Um, all the fighting and stuff they did, and especially with Sunny getting him deported, just because. Jack slept with Carly. And look there. Does Joss even know that her mom cheated on Sunny? Because, <laughs> you know, like, ugh. she should have never liked him in the first place. And now that she's mad at him for um, sleeping with Nina, all of a sudden he's a bad guy. He's a, um, breaks the law and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, how does she, <laughs> she's just now coming to that conclusion? I mean, does she not know that Sunny killed AJ? <laughs> like seriously um, does she not know that Sonny shot Dante in the head does she know that Sonny shot Carly in the head I mean that was an accident but still very neglectful and could have killed um, Morgan also I mean not only that all the stuff all the shit that's happened to the family because of Sonny being a business and oh the thing that the straw that breaks the camel's back is that what they say <laughs> <laughs> is that Sonny cheated on mommy. That's what makes him a bad man. So fucking beyond, beyond fucking stupid to me. <laughs> like, seriously, you should have figured that out years and years ago that Sonny was a bad dude. <laughs> you should have never liked him in the first place. And not only that, but we always get to hear how Michael and Josh feel about the situation. Well, Sonny's smart kids. <laughs> Josh is not even Sonny's kid. Uh, th- their own, th- that's her stepdad only because her mom is stupid for marrying him again. <laughs> but his real kids, um, Dante and Christina, that's why I call his real kids because, you know, those are the ones that came from his nutsack, unlike Michael and Josh. They, um, they're not judgmental, and they just want Sonny to be happy, so they don't get in his face every two seconds about dumb shit. So <laughs> that's why that's why I like them much better, <laughs> and Avery and Donna too, because they don't hate they don't hate Nina. Uh, they think she's pretty cool. Well, Donna and Avery think she's really cool. Um, Dante and um, Christina are just like. You know, if you're happy, that's good. But, I mean, she did do some fuck up shit. But if you're happy, we're cool. <laughs> and I have Michael trying to get revenge on Sunny for, like, how many months now? <laughs> I'm like, what is the, what is this, um, what it, I, I don't understand that story. 
was like at all. They had plenty of stuff to get Sunny on and still oh Dex the only thing Dex has been able to do is get himself shot, kidnapped, and fucked um Jocelyn. So very good job of hiring him, Michael. Like seriously, <laughs> Michael is just wasting money on oh, shit. <laughs> Must be nice to have money just to throw away like that. Okay, now back to <laughs> back to the couple stuff. Okay, we talked about most potential Sunny and um Sunny <laughs> Spencer and Trina. Best breakup. Um uh, I wouldn't say that how it happened was really great of how it happened, but I'm just glad that it was over. That it's over. That's why I named the best breakup, um, Austin and Maxie. Um, I'm not sure why the writers wanted to do this. <laughs> but um, Roger and Kirsten, they have zero chemistry. They don't even look right together. I'm sorry. It's not the age thing. I can get down with, you know, um, Cougar or... Um, Sugar daddy kind of like I don't know what the male version of a cougar is, but um, I can get down with that. You know, I liked Ava and Morgan, even though Morgan annoyed the little shit out of me. But um, Ava definitely made that relationship look interesting. <laughs> but they don't even look bad, and they were rarely on, and um, they're just trying to push them as a couple. It's really pathetic. Not only that, but um. The storyline wasn't there, and he has some sketchy past, and it's stupid. Which is smart for Maxie to break up with him because of that, because of Peter. But also, she just jumped in the relationship with him way too fast, in my opinion. I'm like, you know, she didn't even, she grieved for Nathan, but she, you know, ended up with Peter so close behind. Anyways, I mean, I know people, you know, grieve in different ways, but, you know, I just felt that she should, should never been with Peter in the first place, but, you know, that all happened fast. And then Peter dies, and then she's with Austin again. I mean, she just got her daughter back. I think, I think it would be better if she would focus on her kids and focus on herself for, you know, after, you know, people warned her so much about Peter, and she didn't take the warning, and, you know... After that, I would, if I was in her shoes, I would reflect on my life, figure out what I want out of life, and focus on my kids. Um, but that's just me. I don't know why they needed Maxie to be thrown in another relationship. But whatever. If they were going to put Maxie with somebody, I would have. They should have just did um, Maxie and Spinelli again. Or bring back Matt Hunter. Sexy ass. <laughs> you, uh, hey, you could have brought some Days of Our Lives. Old school Days of Our Lives. Classic Sheely fans <laughs> back to the show. If they're not still watching. But worst breakup. I had to say Brooklyn and Chase. Because there's absolutely no reason why those two should not be together. <laughs> Their storyline is so absolute garbage, you know, she's too, um, single, no, nothing attached to them, why are they not fucking all over poor Charles, <laughs> poor Charles could definitely use a hot young couple, you know, they want, they're, they're taking a sweet ass time with Spencer and Trina, they could have, um, fill in with, um, Brooklyn and Chase until they were able to pull that Pull the, well, won't be pull the plug. You're, I, I'm, I'm gonna stop with um metaphors. Anyways, I say the hottest hookup. If you haven't figured it out, I, I, uh, I have to choose Valentina and Anna. Come on, that sex scene was sexy. It was just crazy because you know they had been seeing more of each other, and you know they just had like these really sexy kisses, and you know how their scenes ended. It just made it seem like maybe they're fucking now, and I'm like damn, that would kind of suck if they are, and we didn't get to see it. Cause you know some of us soap fans are perverts. <laughs> we want to see it happen, <laughs> me included. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm like for the first time I want there there that should be on TV. I'm sorry, <laughs> but um, wow, I'm like we've been wanting it, and then it just like they were in front of the fireplace, and next thing you know they're upstairs, and I'm just like, and I was just like watching it, and I even watching it, I was like. Is this a dream? Like I had to watch, I had to watch those scenes over and over again. And I'm like, I still can't believe this happened. And then the next morning, <laughs> Valentine wanted some pie, wanted some of Anna, wanted Anna pie <laughs> for breakfast. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> like you go, Anna, you got that good one. <laughs> Every lady should have a man who enjoys pie. <laughs> but um I know I still can't believe that it happened. It's like it's like you wanted something for so long and it happened. You're like, wow, did that really just happen? Yeah, it's still like like seriously, I was on the I'm still on the I'm still on the Vanna high, but whew, that high was like out in outer space kinda high. <laughs> <laughs> when after that happened. And if you watch my reviews, you know I, I never shut the fuck up about it. I think I'll talk like half of a review just on that. I can't help it. I'm a fan girl for Vanna. <laughs> and worst hookup, you already know who I choose. Nicholas and Esme. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so feet of my head. Oh my gosh, I don't know what, the, I don't know if they purposely wanted to go stupidly disgusting or they thought that that was going to be hot, but it was, woo, I still have nightmares about that shit. Speaking of which, I'm going to pencil that in to talk to my psychiatrist about it. <laughs> I'm like, no, she probably thought I was crazy if I was I started talking about that. But that was all. Uh, and then it kept showing damn, the damn flashbacks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why do you, why do y'all hate us so much? I'm like, I can't imagine that anybody found that attractive. Probably hella funny. But me, it was definitely damaging to not just my eyes, but my whole thought process of life. I was like, yes, I have to straight <laughs> But definitely, oh, I want to that to erase from my head. But oh, I have a feeling that that oh, that that baby's gonna be a constant reminder. But we'll find out in twenty twenty three, like twenty twenty three isn't here, how that all happens. But oh, Willow and um, Esme both don't need no damn child. But anyways, um, best reunion I gave to Valentine and Anna, of course, when they reunited in Ireland. That was awesome. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're like, and then they were trying. <laughs> well, I'll talk more about that later because um, that reunion got another um, nod or, or win. I would say because it's an off. Maybe next year I will do nominations because um, I was gonna do what I was gonna what I did last year, so I prepared to do that and so until like October November, <laughs> then I decided to go wrong with this. So um, maybe next year I'll have nominations and then the winner <laughs> prepare that way. But anyways. Worst reunion? I couldn't think of anybody. I don't think that... Who else re reunited? I'm trying to think. Was... Um, yeah, I didn't write down anything for that. <laughs> I don't know if I forgot or I just didn't... I'm trying to think. Was that this year with Willow and Michael getting back together? Willow was married to Chase and he got sick. Was that this year? And she cheated on him with Michael? I don't remember or care. Anyways, 
on to Anks. Best Anks, of course, Spencer and Trina. Ugh, very torturous Anks, but it was really great to, um, even some of the stuff that is kind of stupid just to torture us with, to not put them together. They still killed it. Um, Nicholas Chavez, I pronounced that right, Chavez, and uh, Tabiana and Sydney when she was here, you know, they all just killed it with everything. Um, just thinking about the damn Trina's party. Oh, Lordy. Oh, that was a close one. We almost got the, um, I still can't believe Trina didn't read that damn note. What woman picks up a secret letter and not read that shit? I would have read that shit out loud. I would have picked up a microphone. Yo, this is what Spencer left on the floor. <laughs> oh, Lord, is the court scenes. Um, <sighs> Spencer basically saying, I love you without saying it. <laughs> okay, Spencer, I wish I need to find those scenes just to watch them over again. <laughs> See how much they've grown since then. <laughs> yeah, and the fighting. Um, Trina breaking up with him. Well, stop being friends. But then she's like, I don't. I want you to be my friend. Basically, apologize. Oh Lord, was that this year? Or was that last week? <sighs> okay, I'm fucking up. Anyways, the worst angst. Um, I guess Brit and truck nuts. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> I don't know, because I couldn't really think of anybody else. <laughs> but they had, this made it seem like they were longing for each other. Well, definitely Chuck knows, but, you know, he was playing Brooke all along, so he sucks ass. But I don't want to talk about Chuck knows no more. <laughs> um, Best storyline, I talked about um, a little about it earlier. Um, <laughs> if you're still big. But um, everyone versus Victor, I I'm enjoying, you know, everybody interacting with him and him just messing with everybody. <laughs> yeah, with Lucy trying to help Valentina and uh, yeah. Speaking of which, where is Lucy? I'm actually missing her. That's weird. Like, I never thought that I'd miss mix miss miss Lucy, but I do. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I think I think um Count Lynn and um the vets that they're using um during this Victor storyline. I don't know how and when it's going to ever end, but um <laughs> but I definitely enjoyed um what they've shown this year. Um and well Martin's not a vet. Well, um Michael e. Michael E. Knight is a soap vet, but not a, a vet on GH. But, you know, his involvement has been really good. Even though, you know, he fucked up in the beginning thinking that Anna would kill Lucy. But he has redeemed himself. But we'll more on that in a second. Um, worst storyline. Lordy, that is... that This category was very tough for me because, you know... Um, you know what? I think I'm going to. Oh lordy, it's windy. <laughs> Worst storyline. I had put um two down, but I think I'm gonna change what I said, and I'll have to give it to Liz's um family drama. <laughs> it's definitely the worst storyline, cause it's. It got the most attention than the other two storylines, I believe. Definitely. Um, you, know, you know, I've only watched General Hospital for 18 years, so I didn't know that um, Liz's parents never been on screen with her. So, um, I mean, I don't know, you know, years ago, because, you know, everybody kept pushing, you know, we want Liz's family, um, you know, Liz's parents on the screen, you know, you know, half her confront them about everything, you know, and even her sister, I, no, I never saw her sister, I saw Hayden, which they all, they forgot all about, but, <laughs> you know, they just kept pushing for that storyline, not only that, but they've been pushing for Elizabeth to have her own storyline, and they totally 
Fuck did it it up. Lordy, they dragged it out for practically all year. And then, well, it started last year, actually, I guess. Because it started with um, Peter falling down the stairs. Um, or seeing Peter at the bottom of the stairs is what triggered Liz. But so, Did they ever say how we got out that freezer? They probably did, and I forgot. But then she was sleepwalking or whatever because of the um, pain, the um, sleeping pills she was taking. And then she checked herself in the Shady Brook. And I'm like, what is she being treated for? I'm not understanding it. And then she started having the visions of the girl at the bottom of the stairs. And so I was like, okay, maybe something's coming in. And I'm like, they just made it seem like it was going to be something different, but always me from the beginning is that she had a fight with the girl and she ended up at the bottom of the stairs. And then in comes as Finn's um, dead wife had an affair with her dad. And she got a, well, she got a blood transfusion that ended up giving her some kind of disease that she died from. And her mom knew and, um, hypnotized her or whatever to forget about it and I'm like wow and all this time Liz was wondering where her parents were <laughs> no, that's just so horrible Does, who thought that that would be a good story <laughs> that's absolute garbage and not only that but they made it all about Finn <laughs> it's all about how Finn felt about it he would have you know, bi-weekly meetings with Chase and his dad and, um, Lordy, what's that girl's name? Violet. Violet. You know, they would all have discussions about it bi-weekly and, you know, Liz never really had anybody, never really talked to anybody about it until Nicholas, but that wasn't until the um, quarter main picnic. You know, by that time, you know, she was having those weird outbursts and stuff, you know, if they were triggering or whatever, but, but still, it was all about him, and it's still all about him, like, how do you, how do you write a story about one character, but make it all about another character, that's absolutely horrible, and like, Elizabeth, <coughs> like, Elizabeth, like, like, Jeannie is one of the most, that, if, they're, like, up there with, the most popular characters on the show. So why wouldn't you write try to write something good for them? I mean, they had the these writers, they had their moments where they write awesome stuff, but they can't why don't they give it to him? <laughs> give her an opportunity to have an awesome story. I mean, her being involved with this Nicholas Esme mess, I mean, it's mess, but it's billion times better than the shitty oh this is all about my whatever and I still can't believe that they're actually a couple how are they a couple did they even go out on a date I know they tried to fuck once but that didn't happen thank Jesus really <laughs> and why would Elizabeth be attracted to his pathetic ass anyways lordy Oh, what they got my girl doing? This is horrible. Ugh. But um, the other ones, the ones I had written down were um, Carly's Jacksonville adventure. <laughs> that I, I I never talked about that in any of my um reviews because I couldn't find any positive thing to say. You know, when in my reviews, I try not to be so negative. I mean, I mean, I have my moments, but I try to be positive as much as I can. Um, but you know, if I don't have anything nice to say, I wouldn't. I try not to say it. I try not to discuss the storyline, and I didn't see any reason to have Carly's Jacksonville adventure. <laughs> That they just fucked that up. It would have been good if Carly. I don't even remember where she was supposed to be going. If she would have went to that retreat and found herself and came back as Carly Spencer, you know, and then we didn't have to see anything that happened. <laughs> that would be pretty good. 
but no, she goes to Jacksonville, and it's just like this whole, I don't know what the fuck it was, <laughs> and then her and Drew end up getting together, and, and they have these location shoots and stuff, like, not only that, but, um, Laura and, um, Cameron, they went and promoted their shit, <laughs> apparently. I didn't, I didn't watch any of their interviews, but I heard that they were out promoting stuff, and, like, <laughs> of all the people to go and promote <laughs> the show, you pick two of the most hated, not only the uh, possible couple, you know, you don't have, you know, they're not the up there with the best chemistry or the most talked about, positively talked about couples. Or, it, but I mean, I can understand why they would want Cameron Matheson to um, go promote because you know just the way that he talks, and he was on extra too. I think I think he was doing extra, so I can understand having him go promote the show, but promoting what he was supposedly promoting is wasn't going to attract wasn't going to attract new viewers because uh, what I didn't say before but Spencer and Trina um Nicholas and Tabiana um I know their appeal has brought people who never even watched Journal Hospital to the show because I know some um some of my tweets and um, some people on here on YouTube, they make videos and then um, their friends, they find out they're connected somehow or oh, another way. They find, they see these videos and want to, you know, they want to know everything about them. And so they tune into General Hospital to watch them. So, yeah, those are the people that you want to go out and promote your show. <laughs> Not that. And not only that, but what was the point? It seemed like, even though she didn't go to a retreat, she did still, you know, decide to find herself. But, you know, I'm going back, you know, Caroline Spencer. Now, but just she comes back to town and it's still the same old Carly. <laughs> she never changed. So that was a complete waste of airtime. <laughs> the only good thing about it was that she was away from Sunny and Nina, so we didn't have to hear her screeching at them. So, and the other one, I put Chase, the superstar, <laughs> the music superstar, because that's absolute garbage, along with all the songs. <laughs> I know a lot of people said that if they're going to do a um, music storyline, it should be with Cameron. Um, it's played by William Lipton, who has a beautiful voice. You know, he sang that song at Trina's party. Yeah, so if they're going to do a storyline, do that. Um, but it's stupid because he's a detective. And he just, you know, even if he were to become a detective again, you know, who's going to take him seriously when he's up there wearing glittery outfits singing? I was like, oh, I'm so scared. It's stupid, especially when they buzz. Um, but I don't even remember Link. Link, they brought that dude back when I swore they. Um, who was it? Was it Valentine or Ned? Were able to get rid of him. I thought, and then he just comes back, and now he's a problem again. That's just horrible. I just, I, I just don't get it. And then they bring in this other chick, and like. No, the song sucks. Chase sucks as a singer. And really, you got this really hot guy, and you, there's no other storyline you could possibly do for him. You know, have him become a hot firefighter or something. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, storyline with the most potential, I gave it to Spencer and Trina because, you know, the sky's a lim the limit with them. <laughs> I think that's how I need to stop doing sayings because I'm like, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But why does I keep getting in my hair? I'll put my hands down. No more raising my hands. <clears throat> but you know, there's so much more story to tell with them. You know, Trina finding out about her father, um, her mom lying to her, you know, and um, Spencer dealing with Nicholas. However, they're going to write him out. And, you know, still Esme out. I mean, she might be having amnesia if that's really what's wrong with her. 
but um you know it had to do with her you know still the hooker and you know Heather and Ryan gonna be involved too so you never know there's a lot that can be done with them and um yeah basically <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that you write for them they're just two of the people that you know we, I don't see being back burned because, you know, there's so much that you can do with them and directions you can go with them, you know. Hopefully as a couple, but we shall see. <laughs> Best scene, I have to go with um, Anna and... I, I did Valentina and Anna finally get together. <laughs> they said the best scene, too. <laughs> But, I mean, that was an awesome scene, but I could have probably thought of something better. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Lordy. Anyways, and, oh, I forgot, oh, shit, I forgot to put the other categories. I'm going to talk about it in a second. Um, worst scene, I say that um, Chuck Nuts, a.k.a. Cody Bell, um, parachuting into the pool, knocking Brett in the pool, that was just hella, hella fucking stupid. <laughs> Who thought that that was a, I don't know, never mind. <laughs> but um, funniest scene, I went with Esme going over the parapet. You know, after her fight, the one with, um, after she had the fight with Ava. <laughs> Lordy, that, that, the whole, the fight scene, the, the slap, the argument, the fighting over the book that they burned. <laughs> or is that the one that went over and then they burned the rest of the stuff, which is so fucking stupid. I still don't understand why they did that, <laughs> but whatever. Um, but that show was just so funny. Ava's face. I just can't get over it. And I was like, oh my gosh, please tell me somebody made that into a gif. And they did. And I just sat there and watched that gif for like five minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop laughing. Anyways, um. Best rewrite and worst rewrite. I can't think of a best rewrite because all the rewrites kind of suck. <laughs> but um, I had that with... Um, I don't think I came up with one for Bold either. I think it was just Dave's that um, got the best rewrite. But um, worst rewrite, which is a lot of what they rewrite on the show. But I went with Drew's Life. Because they completely trashed that character to no end just to fit into Carly's life. That is absolutely fucking pathetic that Carly, that they want to write um, Carly to, you know, not have a life out of, out of, not have a life without a man in it, basically. So he's had to have a string of men along, whether they're dating or just BFFs. You know, they killed off Jason and replaced him with his twin brother and totally rewrote the character. <laughs> it's, he's nothing like when Billy Miller played it. I can understand, you know, what a uh, recast, they, you know, played a part differently from the original, make it, them, you know, themselves, but... So it was a completely rewrite. They might as well have just created a new character. This is the instance where you create a new character. <laughs> because this is oh lordy. You know, I never remembered um Drew not Drew not even giving a fuck about Carly and Sunny. Even when he thought he was Jason. It was like he left the he left the mob, you know, just to protect Sam and their kids, or, well, Danny and, um, Scala at the time. You know? And, and when he came, Drew, and even more so with Drew, and Sonny and Carly didn't give a fuck about him either. <laughs> but then they rewrite it as they're just, they just been so close and friends and stuff. Like, 
But I can understand with um Drew Drew wanting to be in Carly's life or try to be there for her because he feels bad about, you know, Jason dying um during the saving him and stuff. But, you know, to have this right at the way that they did was pretty silly. They could have built it up better. Not only that, not just the writing, but with Cameron Matheson's acting. He's acting just like Ryan Lavery for All My Children. And I grew up watching All My Children, so I know how Ryan Lavery is. And he's playing the character just like that, you know, just really lively, always smiling and stuff. I don't remember Billy Miller doing any of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, they... it's a completely different character and not even not even caring about the character anymore really unless he's going to like just toss Carly for lying to him but I don't see that happening but anyways best and worst twist best twist I can't really think of anything I just thought of um Victor killing Luke <laughs> I was like that makes him a hero in my eyes. I I just love, I love the character of pardon, oh, those itches. Love the character of Luke, and I hope that he stays dead and they never talk about his ass ever a fucking again. <laughs> that I don't care about Luke or his portrayer. So, uh, but yeah, I'm glad he's dead. But I wish they wouldn't have mentioned him ever again. <laughs> <laughs> but it just made Victor, you know, skyrocket on my list of favorite villains. <laughs> very, very. <laughs> well, I had a feeling closer to the reveal that maybe Victor had something to do with it, but still, it was really good to hear. But you know, that's the only thing I could think of was a good twist because all the other twists, twists were twisters were. I already knew they were going to happen, or they weren't really worthy of being best twist. <laughs> but anyway, worst twist, so many. <laughs> but I went with um, Willow is Nina's daughter. Because it's not a surprise to me at all. I knew back when Michelle Stanford was still... Um, was still playing Nina early on when Willow first came on that they were mother and daughter just the way that they were playing it it was like that's how you know they want them to hate each other so when the reveal comes it's a big thing you know like they've been doing the last few months with Curtis and Trina arguing and stuff you know so cliched but uh, (laughs) I was like I don't know if they were you know Willow was I don't know if they forgot the Willow or changed their mind about Willow being Nina's or now it was always supposed to be the twin or whatever. But either way, it's just really fucking stupid. And <laughs> Lordy, how many years it's been? I, I can't keep track. But it's been at least two years. Um, yeah, because that's when... Yeah, because when... Um, Lucas and Brad got um Wiley. That was before Will became like a big character, right? So that's about three years, three, four years now, right? I don't know. I'm gonna stop trying to figure out time because my time. I had an hour and a half. Anyways, best escape I went with Anna and Valentine. Um, and Martin, well, Martin didn't really escape <laughs> in Ireland. That was hilarious. <laughs> but that agent come in and, uh, like, knocks him, comes up behind him, and then she ends up knocking him on the floor and is like, okay, let's go. <laughs> it's like, Anna was just acting so badass in those scenes. I just love it. <laughs> but, you know, I think I talked enough about that. <laughs> and, um, worst escape. I gave it to Holly for being on fire. That was stupid. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. But what I forgot to put on here 
was best death, worst death. <laughs> I don't know, how did I not put that, how, get that on there? But I don't know. But best death, I give to Peter for um, finally dying. <laughs> that was um, Wes's um, best, <laughs> best performance for sure. I'm just like laying there, and Anna's like, "Oh, does it hurt?" <laughs> that shit was funny. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get to see his dead body afterwards. Just to, you know, extra comfort confirmation, like we did with um, fifth, um, Julian a couple of years ago. But he better not fucking come back. I'm sure Anna disposed of him very well. <laughs> and worse stuff, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, I was gonna, um, uh, Brit won't this year. Oh, Lord. I guess Brando. I would say Brando. Worst death, because if the killer is really a woman, even if the, um, killer is a man, um, Brando, wasn't he in the military? And he's just, like, this really strong, built dude. And he was, he succumbed to a smaller, um, killer. Made no sense. It was stupid. And I know, if you watch my reviews, I talked about how Brando and Sasha weren't needed on the show. But I didn't mean to kill the dude. Lordy. Anyway. Oh, Lord. Anyways, um, like I said, I was going to do the same format as I did last year, but kept up with all the storylines throughout the year and labeled which one was the best, which one was the worst. So I got through it. The best storylines, I said, were um, Peter finally dying. Oh, New, I forgot about New Jordan. Um, Tanisha Harper. Probably fucked that up. But I thought, yeah. I thought she was really great. Better in the role. And, um, just, we should, um, see more of her. <laughs> Finding out what Victor's up to, even though we didn't really see what he was up to. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. He was trying to, um, use the car that Peter used to control Drew, and that didn't happen. So, new Trina. Um, Harmony the Murderer. <laughs> Well, I guess that could have went along with worse death. Because <laughs> why did Harmony have to die? You know, it's just getting good. <laughs> oh, she, oh, I forgot she killed me. Oh, there was a reveal that she killed me. Now, Neil. <laughs> oh, lordy. Um, the hooker. I said that's the best story. Oh, I, I, I put that early on. <laughs> What did I? What did I put this down? Because I said, but we have to rid of Brando. I don't know. And um, Spencer, Trina, Rory. That's that's the that's a category I could have did best triangle. Didn't think of it. Um, Spencer and Trina getting closer. Esme's downfall. Valentina and Anna finally a couple and trying to bring Victor down. And then I put Valentina in a brain down thing. What the world? I don't know what I want. Uh, Sunny and Nina finally official. <laughs> worst scenes, I um worst storylines. I said the um team cat um cabin mess definitely. Um, Esme framing Trina, dumbass Nicholas. Jason this, Jason that. Cause you're not know, the beginning of the year. They were talking a lot about Jason, and Britt was all sad about him, which I know people, a lot of people shitted on. But like I said, I, I said in one of my um reviews was that I can understand. It's like it's more of a what if you know you know if he was still alive you know you know you know wondering what it would have been like if he was still alive basically. Not only that, but if he made you. He probably made her feel something that she hasn't ever felt or hasn't felt in forever. So that's hard to get over. But um, yeah, I think they 
or and also a feeling of you know probably not gonna feel that way ever again <laughs> yeah all of that factors in and making it pretty hard but yeah i guess they did kind of overdid it with the whole jason stuff but i can understand why Brett is upset about that not only that but jason went with her to save her mom <laughs> so in a way she could probably feel um responsible or some for her his death but um Carl, that happened this year oh wow <laughs> I guess I should have read this before I made my choices, but um, Carly and Sonny's divorce. <laughs> yeah, that was really horrible. Um, yeah, oh, I said that. Um, if she really wanted Sonny, what she didn't, she wanted Jason, and she could have gotten rid of Nina if she really wanted to, which is good. Yeah, which is true. I mean, Carly. Carly was always the character that wants to get what she wants, so she really wanted Sunny and Nina. If she really wanted to keep Sunny and Nina be gone, she could have found a way to get rid of Nina, no problem. But she didn't, so plus we all saw how much she wanted, really wanted Jason, and I'm still mad that nobody has said that. <laughs> nobody has brought that up, or nobody has brought up how the whole town was rooting for Carly and Jason to get married while Sunny was dead, so that's missing that's another besides Sonny not walking in on Jason and Carly big miss opportunity but um also Michael cutting Sonny out of his life he forgave Sonny for killing AJ but Sonny cheating on mommy is in game everybody mad at Nina that's stupid Wiley's visiting trial that was horrible so much repeating of each other oh lordy I totally forgot <laughs> I really I, I fucked up this hat daddy <laughs> that this whole that whole storyline was horrible garbage <laughs> um Dr. Drew yeah Drew helping um counseling everybody when he was locked up for two years and he never got canceling, counseling either <laughs> which makes no sense I'm like somebody who's been kept prisoner for so long you know that wears on somebody. They definitely would need somebody to talk to. I mean, that that could really, really fuck up somebody's whole life. And Drew never saw, um, never went to get that help. Not only that, but he was in the military also, so he probably has combat. Um, I wouldn't say woes, but you know. Did he ever, I guess he got his memory back, so he remembered that stuff. Not only that, but the plane crash and stuff. Stupid. Um, Liz is sleepwalking. Liz's story is Finn. <laughs> Carly losing half of the Metro Court. Oh, lordy. Definitely. <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> and having Nina buy it <laughs> and then try to keep it to her. I said, yeah. They just love um, Nina to get yelled at. <laughs> Carly's Jacksonville adventure. Yeah, that was garbage. Willow gets leukemia. It's so beyond horribly done and a, a great insult to cancer patients. I actually looked up leukemia and stuff and stories about leukemia. And what they're doing on the show does not reflect to what I found out. <laughs> it's like... Willow's too lively and um she wants help but she that she wants she's so focused on the baby that doesn't that didn't really wasn't really formed when she found out and it was like you know if you die the baby dies too you know <laughs> so you should be getting help and then she gets upset when she it's too late to get help and then she's find, trying to find a donor but she doesn't tell her family and she doesn't well she doesn't have a family well, she doesn't know she has family, but she's not telling her friends and stuff that she has leukemia, so they could, you know, donate, you know, you never know. Stupid. Um, Sasha's guardianship, truck nuts, why? That's all I said. <laughs> and Holly's return, because why? <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh lordy. An hour and 40 minutes. This is my longest, best and worst 
video of this year. So how do you like this format? Let me know in the comments below. Um, you know, give me ideas of how to set up for next year's or next year's this year's videos that I will do before the end of the year. So when we start 2013, I mean I'm going back to this. <laughs> when we start with when we start with 2024, no more talking about 2023. Okay. And also, what what do you think? What was the best and worst stuff for you of this year? And um if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um my videos usually aren't this long if you're still awake and watch. <laughs> so they're a little more shorter with reviews and um share this video even if it's to laugh at um my constant <laughs> choosing the same people <laughs> as the winner <laughs> oh lordy and stay tuned to a video i have some more videos coming out um a new channel um update also i know i just did one a few months ago but i'm gonna do another one Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate really appreciate it. Um as always, and thank you to all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. And all my subscribers that have been with me for a long time. I love you guys. Thank you for sticking with me. And I will shut up now and let you get back to your lives. <laughs> thank you for watching. As always, and stay tuned to this week's review coming to you Saturday, hopefully it's Saturday afternoon, early afternoon. So, okay, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.